Hi everyone, Louise here from Gypsy Rose Divination. Welcome to my new series of mediumship with flowers. Um, I'm going to be regularly doing this. Um, so just um, listen out to the messages um, and comment in the description box below if you can take quite a lot of this message because you never know spirit might want to connect to you in the future through the medium of flowers. I hope you enjoy the messages and don't forget to comment if you understand. If you'd like to receive a private consultation with me on Zoom for mediumship or flower psychometry or any of the other services I offer, please contact me. Um, my uh, details are in the description. Thank you. Welcome back. So this is the first message. So we've got a bunch of lovely, small, delicate daisies here. And um, straight away, I'm thinking that there's an April or spring birthday involved. Um, now, when I was meditating, um, I had a lad and I feel he was about 19 in spirit and he's got ginger reddish hair and he's telling he was telling me that he was in the military and I feel that um, something that involved machine guns and also there was a lot of smoke I feel that um, he passed away and it may have been in the military something to do with machine guns and this i'm sensing that he didn't have to go in the military he volunteered he um volunteered he um signed up off his own back now this message is for two females very close to him one's his mother and one's his girlfriend also when i was meditating i was getting um gypsopola uh baby's breath which is um to me it's about babies and weddings it's very common in wedding bouquets so i sense with this lad this about 19 year old that he was engaged or was going to get married to this girl now he was telling me that um he was a ginger winger <laughs> so bless him he liked to moan and um, he's saying not to take things for granted. Um, he never seemed very satisfied with life. Um, he was mo he moaned a lot. Uh, so here we have a group, big group of daisies, um, different lengths. Not bad condition, the leaves, um, except one falling down there. I feel this may have been a close friend of his in the military army or whatever that um, passed away as well. And I think feel that um, upset him. Uh, so I feel he suffered a bit with, what do you call it? Um, when you have that shock syndrome after going through experiences in the army and that, well, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, Anyway, he, he would see things, he'd dream um, of explosions and things like that. Um, and I don't know, he just seemed never satisfied with life, bless him. <clears throat> anyway, the na name Daisy might even be important, but uh, I'm getting the song Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to I'm hot, hot all crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon a seat of a bicycle made for two. So he did just love this girl who I feel might watch this this uh, video at some point in the future or his mother. Uh, so I feel that um, he definitely loved, loved her, loved her, loves her still. And um, yeah, there was definitely going to be a marriage and plans babies as well uh yeah so but there's um, a group of the white daisies uh so there's daisy in flower psychometry is simplicity 
So he's bringing this through today to simplify your life. Um, the springtime, time of new beginnings and um, whatever rubbish you've been going through, uh, there's always a chance to start anew and um, enjoy the newness. Um, we're, we're through spring now, we're into summer, but um, you can have your personal spring any time because I feel that there's some anger, there's grief and anger with this lady that's left behind, probably both the ladies, the mother and the um, girl, not much older than 20. Um, also, I feel it's the north of England, I'm hearing Tyneside, so it might be sort of Newcastle upon Tyneway. Uh, so yeah, there's a group of um, daisies around, so surround yourself with simple things, uh, simplicity, uh, get rid of the clutter, um, don't hang on to too much stuff, the bad memories. Yeah, so there's um, a lot of opportunities and they're all going upward, so this is a good time for a new start in life, so don't look don't look too downhearted. Um, this is um, the past. The past has gone. It's dropping down now. But there's plenty to look forward to. This is a strong stem. We're going upwards. And there are people around you who are, that can calm you down and give you a simpler view of life. That's what he's saying. And of course, this is amazing. I was meditating. I got baby's breath and we have baby's breath. And it says, Gypsophila paniculata, everlasting success is assured if you remain honest and true. So be honest with your feelings because I just feel there's some anger there because he left you so soon. And um, I feel there's anger. You didn't really want him to go into the military. And there's anger there because he seemed, he was quite a bitter person at times, um, complaining, never satisfied. Um, so we've got to learn to forgive that, he's saying. And um, be honest with your feelings. Confide in one of these people who can see the simpler view of life. Yeah. Don't get too caught up in your emotions of the past and the feeling. Just have a chat with like-minded people around you and get it off your chest. That's what he's saying. And we've got strength. Don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. So yeah, don't, don't let the weeds. Um, of course, weeds are actually wild flowers. So uh, my mother always used to say, weeds but they are actually wild flowers it's the wild essence and spirit of ourself so um think of the weeds as wild flowers the wild part of you so um yeah the thistles are prickly though aren't they so we don't want that so rather than have the what my mother would call weeds let it be the wild flowers let the wild essence of you cultivate in your garden so uh, if you can understand this, please put it in the comments. Uh, thank you. So this is the second message. We've got this beautiful, I don't know if it's showing up here so well, but it's beautiful yellow um, distinctive middles of the flowers. It kind of reminds me almost of a tropical type feel, um, like Africa and safari. And I want to say I've got some a lady in spirit and I have the name Joe surrounding her that might not be her actual name but there is a name Joe and there's a name Rachel and Andy I feel Rachel might be the late girl here uh, I think Rachel is for somebody called Rachel there's a girl here in her late 20s mid to late 20s um, and the message is from a, an older lady lived for years quite a good age called maybe called Joan or somebody around her called Joan. Now Joan, <clears throat> this is her husband here, she was on her own for quite some time. Her husband passed quite a long while ago. Um, I 
it's hard to estimate ages, years. I mean, his her life, it could have been about 30, 30 25 years. She could have been on, on her own quite some time. This is her husband. Um, now, I feel that Joan, or the lady in spirit, was well-travelled and with the husband as well. Um, and they may have gone to Africa, I've certainly got a sense of hot climates, um, safaris, I'm seeing glasses, those um, like binoculars looking at animals and staying in these tents, whatever you call them, you know, um, certainly a lot of adventure around her um, cru cruises, but not your you know, um, typical cruises, this would be more like expeditions. Now, when she got older, I feel that she um, would like to sketch um, flowers in particular. Um, I feel she enjoyed going to country houses and open gardens. And this is also, I feel it's a, somebody in Britain, um, but it might not be, but it, I'll have the sense of a British country house going round National Trust places, um, the RHS, the Royal Horticultural Society gardens, that type of thing. And she would sketch very good artists. And the girl here in her 20s is also very good at art and creativity. And that she's come through to say today about the creativity. Um, <clears throat> I feel there might be a holiday abroad coming up soon, somewhere warm, certainly where this yellow is sun. So it might not. It might be a bit further than Europe. Uh, it will be somewhere a bit warmer. Um, there's quite a lot of opportunities as this person gets older and this will be more for the creative side when they get older um, and there'll be some friends around, creative types around her and the lady saying not to miss out on this because as we get older sometimes uh, it can go two, one of two ways. We can either isolate ourselves because we think life's, that's it, life's over what's the point <laughs> but she's saying the other other type of person um you know really takes finds new things to do to pass the time to enjoy themselves and to be creative joining art groups and sketching because you're very much like her she's saying um so we have, the card we have is adapt you will get yourself where you want to be B. So don't be afraid to take on new directions. Um, there's plenty of opportunities for you coming up. The um, leaves aren't in the best of condition. They do need a bit of, feel like they need a bit of more of a drink. So perhaps you might be feeling a bit, um, shall we say, not dehydrated as such, but a bit flat. You need a bit of a um, mental stimulation, a bit of, um, you know, just a bit more va va shall we say, um, because that's what I'm saying. As you get older, um, you might lose a bit of uh, va va -voom, but the flowers are saying that you will find this from being your creative self, that you are meant to be. This is your life purpose to draw and to do art there also might be music around you also we have the daffodil the sun shines brighter when you are here narcissus sudan narcissus so please remember that she's saying <clears throat> now a daffodil also in flower psychometry is about teaching so have you considered teaching art or did joan teach art so um yeah if it's not teaching it's getting a message out about drawing and coloring um maybe selling paintings or something <coughs> excuse me i'm losing my voice i feel that joan might have had a <coughs> throat issue before she passed as she got older okay please can you take that away from me <laughs> so yes yeah, so um like a 
teaching almost, getting your word out there, getting your drawings out there. She'd love you to see you doing more of that because I feel that you might have been feeling a bit flat just lately. And this holiday or planning a holiday somewhere a bit warmer, it is summer here now, but um, still it's um, nice to go somewhere a bit different. Even with like the um, the country houses that she's showing me, um, all the brightly coloured flowers, all abroad with the exotic animals, something with quite a bit of colour in it. I feel that you are good with um, colours and colour therapy. You know the colours to wear, so use that. Use the colours, the bright colours of the summer to cheer yourself up. If you've been wearing the blacks because there's supposed to be slimming aren't they don't just get even if it's a colored scarf or a flower in your hair just um, to cheer yourself up because it really does make a difference so I'll leave her love with you thank you so here's the next message I've got this beautiful gerbera or gerbera I say gerbera here it's um it might show up not quite right colour it's like a really bright pink it looks a bit darker on screen to me but it's beautiful it's quite straight so this person that the message is for here um they've got quite the life's okay at the moment it's quite straightforward but there's a big telling thing here gerberas in flower psychometry are about friendships and the color pink is also about the heart chakra and friendships and relationships but there's one little petal hanging down here and that's the love of her life this is for a lady here i have the name janice that might be her name or it might be around her i've got the sense i'm hearing illinois so I'm not very good on American geography, but I feel there's, this is an American connection here. And um, I have a man here uh, in spirit for this lady who knows a Janice or might be Janice. And um, this is him, bless him. This is how he's passed on. Might not be that long ago because he's literally hanging around, you know, keeping an eye on this lady. Um, now this lady has a lot of friends and she's always had a lot of good strong friends but this gentleman was her best friend her soulmate the pink is the soulmate color and he's he's looking out for her still um she's lost her best friend and to be honest she can't get over this she's still grieving there's a lot of energy here still in the heart chakra um so she's got a lot of good friends and she's always had some good friends i feel she's quite a feisty lady the lady around he's he's telling me i have the name pete or peter something around the, the gentleman in spirit he's telling me that um feisty got into a lot of arguments when she was younger but this gentleman uh, when they met, he had a steadying influence on her. I feel that he died in an accident, something like a car accident. And I'm seeing a clip and I'm hearing, go tell it on the mountain. But also it's go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. So there might be a religious connection somewhere around the family. Um, possibly not the lady here or the man, but somewhere somebody's parents or something might have been uh, involved in the church or religious so yes um so like it's saying that the lady uh, this is for yes and she's got to life's okay it's quite straightforward typically typically with the gerberas that don't have leaves on them uh, so that a flower with no leaves can mean you know where you're going in life or conversely it can mean there's a lack of opportunities um so in the past you did know where you were going in life when you met this gentleman your soulmate you you was on the way up you may not have been together that long um but now we have the thing um, you feel that there's no opportunities now 
without your gentleman friend. Um, so he's quite sad about this and he would like you to work on your grief um, with your lovely friends around you. These are so healthy, these petals, all in an almost geometric pattern. These friends are very good for you. Um, what else can we say about them? Very, the spread out, the spread out. I feel you might even have friends all over the place. I feel that you go on the internet quite a bit. You might have friends around the world. Doesn't matter if they are best friends, they might just be colleagues, they might be just people that cheer you up because we need a bit more laughter here. Um, so pink. Uh, very nurturing your friendships, obviously, which you do. Um, but also there's, there's this thing about your loved one who was your best friend. So there's a bit of work on your grief here. Now, we have share. The busy bee could still make time for each flower. So what it's saying is that... Um, Share a problem shared is a problem halved. Is that right? Problem halved. Yeah, pro, you know. So um, tell them that you're grieving. Be honest. Don't keep it to yourself because we all grieve. We all do. It all comes to a certain time in our lives when we lose people, our best friends, our soulmates, our parents, our grandparents, our brothers and sisters, our friends. We all go through. We all born. We all die eventually so don't think that you're the only one that's going through it don't feel guilty don't feel that you are getting them down because you, you've got a very strong friendship network here even if it's the people on the internet in the groups you go on i feel that you go on groups and things just um, some kind words from people can cheer you up and don't forget that you can help them one day too and we also have a lavender, lavender stoichas, take time to cleanse and remove negativity. Also, with the lavender, I feel that this might be keeping you awake at night because possibly you've been dreaming about the loved one in spirit. So uh, he does come to you in his dreams. Well, each time he comes to you in his dreams, think of that as more healing for you. And also, if you haven't been sleeping very well, you know about putting the lavender under your pillow and that, because I think it really does work. Also, the amethyst crystal here is the lavender colour, similar thing. Uh, meditate with that. I feel that might be good for you um, with the grief problem. Uh, but it isn't really a problem, it's all part of natural part of life for him so i i leave his love with you he really does care for you and love you and he wants you to start going out more with your friends thank you